Hey folks, this is Saiyan Chan. In today's episode, I want to give my men in Western countries some food for thought, especially for those men who have never dated or traveled to or lived in Colombia and are hearing a lot of good things about the country and the women there and are considering it. This video was inspired by a comment from Mr. Z Zero, and he said, please post about dating, intimidating, uh, intimidation in Western countries, particularly in USA, since a lot of Western women are disrespectful. Like how we see in movies and series where they threw, threw, uh, throw the drink on the man, that's stupid, men will get uh, when they don't know how, who, and where to date. I guess he's saying overall about just you know the intimidating uh, dating environment, women that are extremely disrespectful, um, and portrayals in, um, in, in movies and, and media as well. So I wanted to quickly respond to this to tell to you uh, when it comes to dating in Western countries, don't. You don't have to. And what's happening by the thousands and the hundreds of thousands and the millions and millions is that men are waking up to realize that there are better dating options out there. Colombia, Brazil, and Southeast Asia, just to name a few. And for all of you guys who are still in these, these horrid dating marketplaces, otherwise you wouldn't be in this part of the manosphere or YouTube uh, listening to this type of content, I'm here to tell you that it is completely possible in today's modern age to create a life for yourself where you can get at least one woman that you really like and that really likes you and that you get along with well and happily and you add to each other's lives and um, and both of you win by associating with each other. Okay, All this dysfunction that we're seeing on TikTok, on YouTube, on, on Instagram, the passport bros, people freaking out. I'm here to tell you that I feel very blessed in that this stuff doesn't apply to me. It's no longer in my reality. I stopped dating in the United States of America over 10 years ago now, and I've never looked back. So in the past 10 years, all I have are positive associations de uh, dealing with the women in Colombia, women that I like, women that I admire, women I, I wish nothing but the best for, women that I hope will get married and I know will make great wives and all this stuff about intimidation and just being treated poorly and being treated disrespectful. It's just, just this vague memory that's just faded into the far background where it, yes, I still understand how that feels like, uh, especially as a short Asian man dating in New York City uh, when I was much younger, but but since I discovered Colombia starting in year 2011, all those past bad dating experiences have been overshadowed overwhelmingly by the ridiculously good experiences I've had with the women in the country of Colombia. And I bring this up because I hope that you men get something similar or even close to it would be very, very nice. And for those of you guys who are continually banging your head against the wall, trying to date in England, Canada, the United States of America, and Australia, I'm sorry, how many more years do you guys have to continue to do this before you realize that things are probably not going to change for you? When are you going to try something different? Try taking just one trip to Colombia or to Southeast Asia to see how, how, how you like it, right? And yes... Well, I'm not saying that every experience with every Colombian woman in Colombia is going to be great. Yes, you get bimbos, you get you get the hustlers, you get the gold diggers, you get the gringo hunters, and, and you get women with uh, whom you are completely incompatible. There will be time wasters, women that don't show up, con considerable flakiness. But yes, this is part of the normal dating marketplace. What you're not going to get is just these... Uh, generally poor attitudes, women that think that they're too good for you, like they're doing you a favor 
that they go out with you, that expect the world of you, or that look down on you because you have a, a blue collar job or that you make less than six figures or you're less than six feet tall. You, no, that's not what you're going to find in Colombia. All right. And all these stupid portrayals of men being bumbling fools and the women being boss babes and just uh, men being completely helpless without their women. Well, you don't have to watch the, that TV anymore too. come to Colombia and start living the life and start living in a place where the women know they want men, know that they need men and know that men have a lot to offer and can make their lives much easier and that men are generally additive and beneficial to their lives where men are generally respected and the government does not incentivize the women to leave their men and their husbands and take their children and take their money in the process okay what you're what you're experiencing is clown world please get get yourself over to colombia and escape okay i guarantee you that better alternatives exist out there and uh, the Western men are just starting to wake up and realize this in mass. Okay, please uh, tr treat yourself kindly. And if you feel that you're being completely disrespected and abused and not treated well in the United States of America uh, or wherever else, wherever other Western countries to all the other men that are watching, please do yourself a favor and just take one trip to Colombia. All right. And if any of you folks need help with organizing your life or with organizing a trip, email Chan at protonmail.com to book a session with Sayin Chan Life Coaching and Consulting. Everyone else, if you enjoy my work, please consider supporting me monetarily at the $10 or $20 a month tier or just for one month on Subscribestar. Link in the description below with various tiers and various benefits, including exclusive content and priority responses to comments. Everyone else, Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. This is Saiyan Chan signing off, reminding us all to always cogitate and analyze.